Walking in a forest, being picked up by an old man, even though he's not even hitchhiking, he gets in the wagon. This, of course, causes bone people with better animations than Miyazaki's skeletons to attack and kill the girl. Of course, this makes the protagonist guts go doom guide mode and slay them all. No, I am unfortunately not going to play the song this time. <laughs> I like to believe this girl was actually a terminator after making a metal sound when she got cut in half by a giant ass sword. Next day or maybe next month, I don't know, there's no time cards. Guts gets ambushed by a blonde girl, the band of simps, animal animation guy, and stereotypical close anime guy. When straight for the caster, Guts rolls a natural one. This of course makes it so that a random stick lends its perfectly sticky pointy end to land directly in one of his wounded shoulders which made him black out. Fifty Shades of Guts, now on DVD. Taking two seconds to escape, gearing up, and punching a man is the best way to show your mere superiority. And take the whammy. Guts and Blondie take shelter in a manor, where Guts starts to kill a small man who turns out to be a not so small man after his Super Saiyan transformation. Guts easily kills him. This is Bookman. You see, he has that name after I saw him hit a guy with his holy bible, causing the guy's brain to completely melt. In town? Town? Town, I guess. We see Casca. She has Guts' love interest in the story, but after a certain <clears throat> incident, her brain no work now. Some kid decides to join Guts because Guts is a strong, and caveman must follow strong caveman. If caveman wanna survive, we make strong thrive together, me, you, yes. Some other girl is getting the Fifty Shades of Guts experience before someone comes and rescues her. This lady, long hair lady, has been taking care of Casca, and before she gets fifty shaded too, Guts comes and rescues her. By throwing the man, of course. Some other girl, who I will name Karen, takes her away from the tent for some reason. This of course makes Guts not find her. Luckily, Tiny Man does and proceeds to follow them. This leads to the most normal part about this entire deal. A cult. Because of course there's a fucking cult. Uh, this, this thing is like full of naked people, dude. I, I don't fucking know if like the whole deal is is to like eat people or is it to, to have an orgy and then eat them or it's just to have an orgy in general. I don't know. I There's this giant goat dude. Yes, this giant goat dude. This is this is some crazy cult shit, dude. This is <coughs> damn. After all hell breaks loose because of a goddamn demon, goat man gets infected and the normal cult members get turned into zombies. Now you got Blondie's knights fighting the zombies and somehow losing even though there's just rotting flesh and these guys got swords to decapitate them easily. Well, Casca can be the Cascade. You get it if you get it, man. Lunk and <coughs> come up to rescue her. Goatman uh, puts up a good fight. He didn't expect Guts to be carrying his goddamn hand grenades, which he uses to incapacitate and then chop his head off just like that. Blind Man, he's not actually blind, let's just call him that, begins to fight Guts in the Perfect terrain, as he calls it. Ha! <laughs> Balls. Bookman decides to try and put Casca in the Iron Maiden, since he thinks he's a witch and all that. And unfortunately, because of some weird hecky boo boo whatever the fuck, this slime thing comes out. Giant slime just starts tearing shit up through the whole castle. We couldn't just slit her throat, slit her wrist, chop her head off. No, 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 we had to be all dramatic about it. And look, look, look where this got him. We didn't learn anything from fucking Skyrim. We didn't fucking do anything here. Whatever. While all of this is going on, Guts and Longhair Lady, ooh, I forgot Tiny Man, infiltrate the castle to rescue Casca. And I guess Karen, too. She's there. This guy joins them. I, this too generic looking guy. I don't. Look, these guys look really basic in this art style, so I'm gonna give them really generic names. Hence, generic guy. Long hair lady starts to fall down, and that's when Death shows up to save her. Or at least I, I think that's Death. I mean, I don't know if it was explained why he's there, and if it was, I wasn't paying attention. I was, I, I played this shit like times five speed, man. I was, I was just sleeping through this, honestly. Guts begins fighting Bookman and his Bible Club when they grow futile for angel wings. Guts quickly gets overwhelmed, and like a good Texas man, pulls out his goddamn cannon out of his fake hand. 
which of course gives him the upper hand. You know, I wrote this and I didn't even notice that joke, and now I'm throwing up inside. And he kills all of them. Slime thing starts expanding and Bookman uses his fire breath attack. It's super effective. And now they think he's like an actual angel and shit. Before Casca can be roasted up in the medieval grill, Tiny Man rescues her. Which is when Guts finally shows his love for religion by penetrating Bookman. Much like priests do with little boys in real life, except much, much brutal. For the little boys, I mean. Sadly, Bookman, much like his name implies, kept the Holy Bible off, saving him. After turning into either Jotaro or Dio, I haven't decided which sound I want to play yet, Guts eventually throws a grenade at Bookman, killing him. He tries to take Guts with him, but Guts believes in gravity, and therefore he stays on the ground while Bookman just, just goes to the ground. You know, it's, it's gravity, it's, it's like, it's the law, it's Newton's law, it's, it's like an apple fell from a tree, except it was like a giant, ugly ass stone looking angel thing, so it's kind of like, Kinda like that. <laughs> Kinda like that. But we aren't done just yet, ladies and gentlemen, as we still have slime to deal with. So Guts and uh this just this just grab some sticks, set them on fire, and just start going at it. And I shit you not, I just like I Bro bro, like look like some random shit just started showing up on the screen. I have no idea what the fuck is going on, man. Like, I, I honestly, I don't. I need to keep fucking smoking, bro, because I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know what the fuck is going on, dude. What the fuck is going on? Then the sun comes up and it's, uh, it's all over. Yep. Very well explained. Very cool spaghetti and, uh, before we, before the thing ends, they get attacked by these guys and then they... They, there was this horny guy comes out from the original show to save the day. And there's Griffith too, and Guts sees him. And the boom. It's over. That's it. The bomb. Hey, did you make it to the end? I sure as hell didn't. Mentally, and physically, and any other type of being, I'm pretty sure my soul left me a long time ago, and I don't blame it. Let's be honest here. This adaptation, uh, is fucking horrible. Uh, worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Unfortunately, I did a video on the original Berserk, therefore I felt obligated to do this. I can't wait to do the other adaptation, which I actually never fucking watched. Um, I was barely able to make a video out of this. I had to include a lot of extra things, if you didn't goddamn notice that. Uh, I hope that it was at least entertaining by some of the jokes, quote unquote, because I know some of you think I'm not funny. And you're gonna make that joke about these were supposed to be jokes? Like you're some kind of mathematician? Like you're the goddamn genius of the goddamn estate? Like you're just sitting here in your goddamn chair and you're just like, <laughs> not not like that. It's it's more like a pipe, but I can't really make the sound of a pipe right now. And it's just like, yes, I am smart. But yeah, I, I still hope that you liked it, even though that it's uh, not the best thing I've done. If I'm being honest, I I still tried my best with it. Uh, sorry, this one took so goddamn long, but, uh, the next one, uh, Shimak should come out relatively soon. I know I always say that, but I think I'm gonna try a little bit extra harder this time. Uh, with that, I will see you when I see you.